everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So it is a new day, we're in February. Mine's gone down a bit, that's because we finished the contract on 58 in the last episode. And no no, we did 57 and 58 was slightly finished off camera. We got two grand for the contract and then I think it was something like a grand or so for the crop. But mates, we've got no money, pretty much, just because I'm going to gamble on something. I know we've got this forest pickup, hear me out, but I'm thinking we can do bales now, because we've still got this grass here to cut, and I'm thinking we'll cut it, we'll get the pickup with the tether on, and then, yeah, we'll just get hay and sell a bunch of it as bales. Because my thinking is we'll have more basically hay bells per load but more hay per load compared to a forge wagon because the forge wagon is what's the capacity? 10,000 liters? 13,000 liters, fair enough but yeah, it's my option so the motor's on the shop it's just breathed out actually don't use this or don't use the doids far what? I'm thinking we'll use the Deutz for so I did have the cultivator now hooked up onto this because there are some contracts for us to do but for the time being I'm just going to hold off on those like 65 that is a huge field down there so but what I do going forward is anything I do the contract space will be during an episode so yeah, I could easily spend time just you not know, do contracts and that. But I don't do that. Well, first of all, where's our mower to? Did I put it back? No. Oh yeah, I did, so... Fair enough. Let's go and grab that. There we go. Also, we'll put this away because we don't need that at the time being. And yeah, it's going to be pretty much just cutting, hanging, and then doing the bathing. I'm excited. So yeah, we need to unfold this. So if we go like there would be alright, I think. Obviously there's options for us down the road as well with the mower setup because we've got this at the moment. Because what's this? A 2.4 meter cutter which for now will do us all right but eventually I want to save up and get these two that is even that alone is seven meters that is two meters actually how much was that two meter one or is it two mowers 2.1k if you get a tractor with a three point linkage on the front yeah, we can do pretty much almost double the size, but that's going to be for down the road. But for now, we need to do the mowing. And I'll get us always cut in this episode, so... Uh, well, cut and cleared in this episode, because all this all cleared up. So then we get more grass growing. In terms of options, we've got a couple of options. We can either cultivate this, because I think this is filled grass, cultivate it, and then do another crop, however for the time being I'll think I'll keep this grass, or do we, maybe, do we say, we can do oats or something, so we say four months grow now I think, yeah because I'm thinking either oats or sorghum, Sorghum because they really yield a high amount of money. Maybe I don't know. That's the thing, I'm thinking oops of sorghum we do. Because then again as well we get straw from it as well. Unlike with the hay now where we're gonna have to do maybe cut it, we have to ted it, just get the combine, do the work, dump it. Over there, and after that, what we can do is pick it up with the forest wagon, bait it, 
the wind road first before being able horse picking up. And I say either because I don't know this beater. I have not tested the beater, so I may have just spent what twelve yeah beaters eight grand. Yeah beaters eight grand. And the trader was five grand, so that is what ten, thirteen grand. I could have got the mower for that price. Okay, I'd probably got to get a mower and some cheap tires to make a bumper side clamp, but you know what? I'm gonna take a gamble. So I've done the cheap tire solution before with the side clamp. I still may go for that at some point. But I don't do it now because one, we're in February, so December to March is the best time for silage, so in May I sort of sort of use the time we're starting to get silage now, maybe do it down the road. Later on in the year, but for now, I think we say it's what we got, so yeah. We've got a lot of moan to do. So yeah, let's get us done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. So it's heading, wind rowing, and bathing. So we are done with this mowing. Didn't take us too long, I would say. Also, I mean, there is my sword to go down. That's because I'm going to take another gamble and hire a local help. And I'm just hoping they're. Yeah, right, 12 pounds is only, what, 10, 10 in game minutes and. Well, no, about 5 in game minutes and. But yeah, we're doing this contract here on 65. I've got the worker doing that. So I thought, at the end of the day, all the worker has to do is cost less than the contract is. Plus wear and tear of equipment, so... As long as the worker doesn't, let's say, for this contract there, spend a grand. Why ain't that? No worries. Uh, so was I say yeah, the work for now. As long as at the end of the day, it didn't cost more than. Obviously, we're going to be making for the contract. That's really all that matters. Simply at the end of the day, I am taking a gamble. At the moment, it's at ten percent. So, I'm um, hopefully it's all right. I think as well was just because the worker was late now, by the time they got here now, it was like towards the evening time. And of course that means working like almost starting the twilight shift and I'm assuming the workers charge a lot more for working the twilight shift, so Yeah, I'm hoping that worker may makes it worthwhile for us. Because at the end of the day, I simply don't know. 
Will it be worth, really worth doing it? I thought, get them doing it on the big field then. That means then, less money spent on them just turning around. So 10% and we spent 50 quid. So, to do a full contract, that is going to be 500 quid. So 500 quid for a, basically a five, let's say four and a half grand contract. So, the net in 4,200 quid. Minus expenses for fuel, wear and tear and that, servicing, which probably on its own, let's say 100 quid. So, for argument's sake, that grand for 4,700 quid, we're netting 4 grand for that. I think, in fairness, with that, I think too bad, I think, you know, especially for us where we're struggling for money at the moment, so. We all might stuff up four grand at the moment. Four grand is a huge life changer for us for this farming app. Yeah, who knows? One day we get some more bigger equipment than that. As we progress through the years, who knows what developments we will have in the farming industry down the road now as we go into the 90s and that. At the moment, we're content as we are, so. Let's quick get us all wind road and belt. Kind of tethered and wind road. And then we'll see the bay there, because I'm not changing the bay yet. And I'm almost instantly regretting off picking that bay there, so yeah. Let's get this done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments. done with the wind rowing. Yeah, overall so it wasn't too bad. Didn't increase the time slightly a little bit because I forgot we actually left it on 0.5 hours I was looking at some of the contracts available in that. But yeah, so I am excited for this. Hopefully the beta is worth it. God, I'm hoping the beta is worth it. If it ain't, yeah, we can sell it in that, of course, but we lose money on it, so going to be the downside. But yeah, I'll say overall, not too bad. Fold that up. And now, let's go into Deutz Farm. Yeah, I'm still leaving everything in the field, of course I am at the moment, but I promise I'll move them into storage at some point, but for the time being, let's go and have a look at what we've got here. So, Yeah, I am. I said, I'm really hoping this works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna make something so stupid. So, here we go. We bought some new equipment, and oh, yeah, complete forgot we've also bought a weeder as well. That is the P430 2. Complete forgot we bought that. So, where's that? Two weeders, three and a half meters, seven miles an hour. Because we have a look here, we've got weeds in our soybean field, so we need to take care of that. Ideally, this month, so don't 
losing more yieldage. So yeah, I actually sort of make get the idea. We bell, get the bells, they pop up, and they go on to here. So let's see if this will work. So let's go to the farm and get all set up. So alright, here we are. So here are here's the field. So all we need to do is unfold this. And yeah, just try to figure out a way to get this light, so it actually helps if you actually lure them bait in that as well. And yep, yeah, there we go, we are baiting. There we go. Bell's just popping up. And then they should just go onto that trailer. Like so. Well, that was funny. Straight line. It really does help if you keep this in straight line. But yeah, we're baiting and then we're stacking them. No idea what the load capacity is. What? 110 bells? And these are what, 300 litre bells? So that is per load, 300 litres per load, 300 litres per bell, 110 litres, so. What's that? That's not correct. 3,000? No, if it's 300. Yeah, these are. Surely 300 litre bells, right? So. Yeah, 300 litres, I'll say. I think it's a capacity of 110 bales. That is... 3,000... 30,000 litres per load. It's got a decent pickup on it, so... I genuinely do think this may be worth it. I'm not saying anything yet. Because I'm going to get ahead of myself. But yeah, as long as I can keep in a straight line, get these bells for sore heads. And yeah, just look at that. It's almost like steam just coming out of it. It generally does look like steam is coming out of it. So, yay, I'm guessing. Go along here, pick sunnies up, hat, went off the fields. So, yeah, my thinking is we're going to bail this. Is if we, I am just thinking, most likely we're going to have to do is sort of alternate the paving and that, but you know what, that's fine, we've got to do that, so we have to go every other row or so. Yeah, because I'll just keep this all in line, so... House worker doing that at the moment. Have not checked on him, so... 76%, so... Yeah, should have just a little bit of change left over after that. We're halfway full, so... That is what? It's gonna be a... F yeah, it's gonna be at least two trips, so yeah. But let's get the rest of this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. So, here we go, get these bells unloaded here, and what, why aren't they selling? Ah, I've got the, got the wrong area, haven't I? Oh god, oh, it's here, so, 
We get thirty-seven pounds for every little itty bitty bell. I got four wheels here. And I forgot it's so yeah, like somewhere here it is. God dang it! Uh, so then, quickly sell these. Probably you'll have to watch me suffer. Move a hundred and five of these freaking small bells. Because yeah, this is gonna take a hot minute. Ooh. Can make it quicker if we shut them though. Got the final bell sold, and yeah. Overall, it was worth it, yeah, I think so. 13 grand though, so. Complete the contract at least. So, yeah, from those, at those, we got 5,600 quid, so. Yeah, I'll say it was worth it. How much can we get back for? Ah, uh, what's it? The forage wagon. 2600 quid. I'd say if we get that done, get the rest of these bells done. Maybe at some point start looking at another field. Bear in mind, I do want to keep some cash in reserve. And yeah, actually, there is one thing I am doing is. With the fields, I know I said, what was it, could be a grand for every field? I think because of the size of the fields, it's only fair if we charge, or get charged, a grand per field. Because these, some of these fields are quite big in that, so... Yeah. So yeah, all we going to do is transfer another grand over, because we did 57 and 15 last episode. That does mean it restricts us on to what fills we can do. So yeah, that small fills like 19 to 27 on the left. So basically, 1 till fill 27 is pretty much out of the question. Those small fields aren't going to be as profitable for us to do as a contractor. Saying that, if the contract is, say, worth 800 quid, we'll still do it because we still get money left over from the prop net. That we can have and potentially sell on extra. So, overall, it's not the end of the world. Just a little bump in the road for us. But, anyways, let's get the rest of this done. And, yeah, it should be one more load, I think. Yeah, one more load. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, one more load. I should get another 5,600 quid. go we are done the bailing so let's get this last belt done so over here there we go you know what we'll leave a partial belt in there it's not an issue and yeah I very much doubt we'll get one more belt out of that so let's get that on we'll detach that and then this because we're gonna do this separately because that's why we took it to sell. Yeah, got there. 
put the brakes on, next thing you know, the trailer just went swing left it did, so this time I'm a little bit wiser, so we got three or six bells on. There we go, find the gear. For gear. Yeah, as I was saying. Should get a little bit more money for this, so. Yeah, two for those and a third of those, so a bit more than expected. And I am not complaining. Also, currently we've got the worker on field 32. So that is two fields done. Even though there is an issue with 57, we'll have a look at that in a sec. Because, yeah, the field is completely cultivated. But for some reason, it's saying only less than half of it's done. No idea as to why that is occurring, but anyways, let's get the rest of these bells unloaded, so get us all signed up, hang it like that, put the brakes on. Ain't the best of ideas, so there we go. One more well, a few bells here we've got. Fell off. There we go. For five quid. Seventy three quid. And last bell, so yeah, overall what's so about twelve grand, give or take beef mates. But yeah, for uh was it fifty seven? Go to our contracts, fifty seven cultivated. 47%. However, if we go over here and have a little look, you will see this field is fully cultivated. So here it is 57. It is fully cultivated. It's so one field, yeah, maybe a couple bits around the edges, but that is cultivated. So what I'm going to do is do that, then hop into the bank account and transfer 2700 quid. It's like one pound off, but I think we can get away with that. There we go. Get that contract completed. And that is halfway done. Hopefully, that doesn't get stuck. And yeah, there are other contracts we can do, but it is, yeah, the root crops, that's going to be a while. We can plough 36, that's south, 78, which is, is that the forest area up there, I think? Let's have a look, 78, the forest, I know there is a Forest up here, so Go up here, 77, 76, 77, 78. Yeah, that is a forest, so we are gonna do absolute jack on that. So, yeah, so 78, he will ignore me, buy that plot land. You no know, cut those trees down. Get some money from that. But yeah, as well about harvesting contracts, so 50, 51, nope. 87, yep, 87, 88, 89, or 90. Nope. 87 we can do. Potentially, but and 86, that is a Bari contract, so smaller, but should be fine for us. We're in February, so Bari versus Sunflower. I may do a harvest contract in the next episode. So yeah, Bari and Sunflower goes to our prices. Sunflower, we're in February, so price is at its peak. Barley, 
similar amount but where do they want it to go to that is the question yes yeah, I'm far a grey mill so Sunflower, yeah, green meal. So, you know what? We'll do that contract in the next episode. 59, where's that? To. 59, one, where are you? Ah, right, yeah, it's over there. Yeah, it's a bit far for us, so. Yeah, you know what? We'll do 59. It's all the way down at the bottom, so I think yeah, we'll leave it at that. Oops, sorry. Let's get this back to the farm sec and wrap things up. There we go. Tractor is back at the farm, so yeah, you know what? I am going to sell the forge wagon. So where is that? To over here, I think. I think you need access to that combine to move it, so... Squeeze past, thank you very much. There we go. So yeah, let's go and... Repeat that. So yeah, we're at 22 grand. And yep, what we'll do is give the dealership a grant, so go to the finances, or go to the bank, which I should rephrase that, so yep, £1,000 to the bank, there we go, so now we've got access to this, the worker is almost done with this, so yeah, next time we will be weeding, and I want to get the contract completed as well, so make it the worker sort of contracting. As long as it doesn't cost us too much. I think it's after five, six o'clock. Yeah, but however our junior he is doing good, so Yeah, overall I'm excited. Twenty two well, twenty one grand now. And yeah, we can really start looking at new fields, so... For example, 54... Yeah, in fairness, we're not far off... For some of these fields. Yeah, we could buy some of these small ones, but... But what's, what crop have they got in it, though? Ah, what's 51? That's almost ready. What's in 51? Dang it, it's parsnip. Ah, bugger. Well, do you have the wheat and potatoes, is that? We could do potatoes. What's that, 25 grand? And I think I've got something for the potatoes. I hope. So, yeah. Yeah, that is six grand, so... Yeah, me me leave it potatoes for another time. But yeah, I want to get a bit of a cash pull up built up. Around 50 grand or so. Before we start looking at equipment or fields and that. But yeah, so anyways, that is where I'll leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not trying to check it, then please consider. But, where do you just do? Hope you're gonna stay. Love you now. It's me, Farmer Evelyn Street. And I'll see you all very soon.